This project is, uh, uh, the main name of the project is to analyze uh, which are the association between uh, uh, the adverse events of immunotherapy <coughs> on cancer patients uh, and um, especially uh, related to uh, sex but also to other uh, characteristics that are related to um, the um, psychosocial <coughs> and behavioral determinants. So we are adopting uh, such uh, an intersectional uh, um, kind, kind of, uh, of analysis. And we are collecting uh, um, many kinds of data, clinical data, also uh, biological data, um, uh, such as genetic or microbiotic data. And uh, uh, what we are expecting is uh, uh, to uh, have uh, an insight of uh, this uh, characterization of uh, immunorelated uh, <coughs> events uh, uh, related to um, biological aspects and also to uh, psychosocial and behavioral determinants. And um, what about uh, uh, the issues we encountered uh, in, uh, in uh, this research? <coughs> the issues are related to research question formulation, all the phases of the research, research formulation, uh, um, methodologies, gathering data, reporting or results. But uh, what uh, I want to um, highlight that uh, um, I, uh, regards uh, the research question formulation, uh, these issues, uh, um, I think uh, there, um, there uh, were uh, um, not a problem because uh, the research question was uh, very well formulated, <coughs> was focused on uh, the aspects I, I told you before. And uh, also uh, we uh, characterize all the uh, clinical and biological information uh, uh, in the study CRFs, so we have uh, a huge amount of data to, to uh, collect it. And uh, also uh, we did not encounter ethical problems because the clinical protocol was uh, uh, approved by all local uh, ethical committees. So in this phase we had no problem. And the um, only issue was uh, just to uh, highlight, was select uh, which meaning, which characteristics were meaningful for this research. And we, um, at, uh, uh, we focused just to um, psychosocial and behavioral determinants, uh, which uh, in the literature uh, appeared to be related to some. Uh, um, um, to the occurrence or uh, to uh, the, um, uh, also the grade of uh, adverse events uh, um, uh, due to immunotherapy. And uh, for instance, uh, we collected data on uh, personal sense of being. Uh, if uh, we, we have uh, the biological sex assigned uh, at uh, birth, but uh, we also collected uh, personal sense of being. And uh, I um, anticipate that we have no such a difference between the two, all the males are uh, um, uh, identified as men and women as women, and uh, these characteristics are uh, listed in uh, in uh, the CRFs uh, uh, reported on Zenodo, and uh, um, also in the methodology we have no issues because there are some uh, many statistical methodologies that we aid, can aid us to uh, um, uh, perform uh, um, uh, supervised and unsupervised analysis, uh, clusterized patients according to similarities in gender characteristics, analyze the association between gender characteristics and uh, uh, adverse events and so on. So the only um, difference, the only issue we uh, encountered is uh, uh, on gathering data because uh, this study is a prospective observational studies uh, that uh, means that all uh, the information should be gathered uh, from uh, medical charts so uh, missing data can occur and also uh, the main uh, point is that the medical charts do not collect the gender variables so we um, uh, uh, prepared some questionnaires on purpose and uh, we have the problem that some patients refused to answer because uh, these patients uh, submitted to immunotherapy are very sick patients and uh, this means that they sometimes uh, could die before the second administration of immunotherapy or they are so sick that they don't want to, to answer. And uh, also the other issues in this, uh, in this case is uh, that under samples of, um, that can occur under sampling of uh, some groups uh, that uh, uh, does not allow sufficient statistical power for cross-group comparison. So this is uh, my last. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>